All right, finally back together. I mean, the entire reason I took it apart in the first place was I was getting some bad, like, lifter tap, piston slap, whatever. It was, wasn't sounding healthy. And when I did the timing and the oil pump, I always, I always lose sleep over timing. And these motors will run even if they're a tooth or two off, and there won't even be a code, nothing. It'll just sound different or have less power or be, you know, more responsive it's, because it's either advanced or retarded. So I always, always, always second guess myself, even if I, I don't know how I did it, but it was a tooth off. So luckily that quieted the motor down the oil pump o-ring was indeed the wrong one so i was getting some cavitation not cavitation aeration of the oil because it was sucking air next to the o-ring verified that with a mechanical oil gauge <sighs> so much faster now way quieter but that means you can of course then you kind of know where i'm going you can then hear all the other stuff that's loud. And that rear end from the junkyard was just humming. And I could hear, like, if I let off the gas, I could hear it clunk. And then when I got back on the gas again, it would clunk. So there's obviously a lot of play in there. Uh, so, yeah, that's completely apart. Waiting for parts. Luckily, Amazon next day, bro. The entire kit. I mean, bearings, crush washer, new nut for the pinion, everything but the gears. Because the gears, I, I checked them, they look fine. Um, yeah, shims, seals that I already did, everything. New gasket, new hardware for the ring gear, which I'm probably not going to take apart. Um, yeah, it's it'll be here tomorrow. So... I got an appointment day after tomorrow, which would be Saturday. Uh, the differential man here in Colorado Springs said, bring it over. It'll take me 30 minutes to show you how to set it up properly without any special tools, yada, yada, yada. He does it for a living. And apparently he's moving shops, so he's got a whole bunch of tools and inventory and shit that he's got to get rid of. He's probably going to end up putting in a dumpster, so I may get some free stuff. Uh, comment down below if there's anything you need from a diff shop. Yeah. So, that's where we're at. No fucking car. Because I keep fucking doing shit half-assed and junkyard. And, I mean, it was a $60 diff. So, I, now it's welded, though. I put the limited slip out of it back into the steel case extra diff. So, that's for sale with a limited slip ready to be either rebuilt or fucking seal it and fill it run it till it breaks <clears throat> um so yeah a couple more days i should have a video of it driving i just didn't want to put the gopro in there and me dealing with the noises and the clicking and the clacking and the bonking in the rear so once i get it dialed in i'm gonna i'm gonna strap the gopro to the roll bar there and uh we'll go do some burnouts yeah. Thanks for watching. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Go to the website in the description. Maybe buy a t-shirt. Yeah.